we will close all K-12 schools. Public and private. Statewide. Um, a lot of Netflix, a lot of TV, but it really gave me time to work on things I needed to work on for the next season. I'm not grateful that COVID hit and my season got canceled, but it was really benef beneficial to me. So about an hour a day, I went to the park with my dad and my sister, and I just worked on the things I needed to work on. It gave me time to build up my confidence to do the things I needed to do for it to get ready for the games. My best memory is probably the tournaments and the hotels you get to spend and the time you get to spend with with your teammates and in the pool and not really having to worry about the soccer part just really just making friends and building new connections. Soccer well, sports all in general just brings you closer to people with you probably would never meet in your life. So right now I can't deal or the coaches that I want to come see me can't really come see me play and I can't really show off my skills in a personal setting or in real life. So right now I've just been trying to get highlights, get trying to get tape to send to coaches, trying to get full game um, film. Right now, all I can really do is email and phone calls, which is not ideal, but it is what it is, and you just have to make the best of it. When COVID first hit, how did you occupy your time during the quarantine? Um, at first, I started by trying different hobbies to, to pass through like the day and all the different times that I had. But eventually, I just started weightlifting again whenever I got some equipment in the um, basement. I started running a little bit and just trying to make sure I stay on top of my game at all times. I did not anticipate this at all. I didn't think it was going to last this long. Whenever we first got out around March, I was expecting, you know, maybe like a month, a few weeks or something. But I never thought it would have this much of an impact on like my athletic career and my life as a completely whole. Like I never thought it would put this big of an impact on my career. Some will argue that the pandemic has actually made it easier to practice and work on your game by yourself. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I would say it has, but it hasn't. Seeing how, you know, some some police officers or random civilians will take pictures of you and try to get you kicked off the field when you're just trying to work on yourself and get yourself better. They don't really care about that. Um, so it has made it easier, but it hasn't. At the same time, it's made it easier to get out the house and go do what you have to do. Uh, seeing how everything's open and not a lot of people are out, but a lot of people want to shut you down. During this pandemic, have your coaches or sports advisors, how have they helped keep you motivated during this time of year? Uh, my coach, Coach Kuska, he, he texts me every now and then, especially my trainer for my school. He talks to me and just get me in the gym all the time just to stay in shape. And that's really about it. Uh, we practiced together for a while, so we already knew what it was, basically. Have your coaches or special advisors help keep you motivated in regards to your athletic career? Yes. Um, I have very good relationships with my two head coaches at my high school. And I talk to them a lot, and they've been they've been saying good things about me. They've been saying I progressed a lot over the last couple months. Got taller, got faster, and got stronger. So just keep going with that. And yes, they have helped me.
Yeah, so I, I got work to do. Um, a lot of different elements, different homes. So I, I've been doing the best I can, trying to provide them with uh, workout, home workout remedies. I've been providing them with academic assistant, you know, telling young men to currently, you know, all we have their um, video on, I think the more the teacher teach you engage, the more opportunity, you have an opportunity to learn. Emails, I mean, encouraging emails, encouraging them uh, when they're doing well, also uh, uplifting them when they're not. Thank you.